Welcome back to Her Story. The last thing I found was a little cache of clips that I have not seen related to the wig. So the wig is something that's come up multiple times. It's been mentioned as having been found in the attic, either the wig itself or maybe some hair is from the wig. Uh, I believe the police were questioning whether someone else was there because of those hairs, those blonde hairs from that, the blonde wig. And also, I think Hannah was wearing the blonde wig at the time that Simon was killed. So, let's see what these are about. A wig? You mean... What type of wig? No, I've never worn a wig. What kind of wig? Hmm. So I think that's Hannah talking, and I believe that's Hannah lying about never having worn a wig. Well, I mean, possibly. Let's let's not assume, right? Like, the only reason I believe Hannah has worn that wig and wore it when Simon was killed is because Eve said that. Maybe Eve is lying, and maybe Hannah never wore that wig. This was nine, about nine. Yeah, I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry, the kind of anger you could only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing, she tore it off. Eventually, we grew tired of fighting and I left. She actually hit her. This was I hit her back. Oh, so she's saying that Hannah actually hit Eve first. And then Eve hit back. Left a bruise. You know, I'm gonna search for bruise. That's one thing I haven't actually searched for. Bruise. Alright, this is seven. There's seven clips here, but I only see five. Um, use some more dummy words to hopefully find some other clips, unless I've already seen the other clips by searching for different keywords. I probably have. Whoops. <laughs> That's not gonna find anything. Emmond. Nah, okay. Uh, yeah, let's look for bruise. Here we go. Bruce. Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen, and the chair slipped, and I kind of hit the door with my face. It really hurt like hell. <laughs> oh, so she actually does have a bruise. It's just that the quality of the video is not really good enough to see Bruce. it. I mean, like, right there, it... Her left cheek looks, I guess, slightly darker. It's really hard to tell. Like hell, like hell. The bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. Wait a minute. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... Oh my god, I think we just found something really important. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me check the dates. Two days, only two days after this one. So in this clip, bruise. they ask her about the bruise. She instinctively reaches up to her face, to her left cheek. That is very important, the, the left cheek. And I guess you can see that it's slightly dark, so it looks like the bruise does actually exist. You can barely see it. And obviously they, the policemen, could see it. That's why they're asking her about it. I was and then, two days later, the bruise. Look at what side her hand goes up to. The right side of her face. That's not actually the side of the face the bruise was on. It was on the left side. The left cheek, not the right cheek. The fact that she, she goes to the wrong cheek for the bruise and says I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. She's saying that the bruise disappeared within two days. Those two things mean that this isn't Hannah. This isn't the same person from the clip two days ago. This is Eve. 
but she's pretending as if she is Hannah. She's imitating Hannah right now. Hmm. Hmm. Why is she imitating Hannah? Why? I found the body. Yeah. She's pretending to be Hannah, who was the one who found the body. Or, well, you know, supposedly found the body. That's the story they want the police to believe. But then later, Eve tells the policeman, you know, that whole sort of confession about cleaning up the body and moving it and finding Hannah... You know, finding Hannah next to Simon's body, wearing the wig and all that. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe at first, Eve was pretending to be Hannah. Because Eve is actually the one who did the murder. Maybe Eve is the one who killed Simon. And Eve was pretending to be Hannah... in the hopes she could escape responsibility and Eve would be the actual one who would get you know the they would they would arrest Eve who was actually Hannah because she was pretending to be Hannah and so she would escape responsibility by pretending to be Hannah although that seems unlikely because if it goes to the point of actually arresting Eve who actually turns out to be Hannah well, you know at some point wouldn't they do like she would obviously claim hey I'm not actually Eve and so she'd probably demand, like, a blood test or something, and then they'd find out, wouldn't they? So I don't see how that could work, but... It seems like she's... Like, maybe Eve was pretending to be Hannah at first to escape responsibility for... For what she did. And then after the police found out... Then that's when she changed her story to... Oh, I came home and I found Hannah... You know... In shock, next to Simon's body. Because both her stories... Both being Hannah and finding the body and being Eve and finding Hannah next to the body both of those stories erase any responsibility on her part for the murder, right? Hmm That was a very, very important piece of information I just found Because we knew that Eve had been pretending to be Hannah many, many times throughout her entire life what I didn't know is that Eve was actually pretending to be Hannah to the police. Where do I go from here? There's mentions of a blood test, right? Did I ever search for... I did search for blood, and that's how I've heard the mentions of the blood test. Which I still really, really don't want to do. I don't want to look at these because they mention blood and I'll uh, pass out. Oh god, no. Okay, this is the one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so they're asking her for a blood test. And which one is that? They're asking her... She's in these clothes, right? The blue? The blue shirt? Yeah. Okay. In fact, what's the timestamp here? 1344. 1335. So it's actually, yeah, pretty pretty close to when they're asking her about the bruise. Bruce. And then they ask her for a blood test. Okay, so... Yeah, these actually kind of match up. So this is her saying that she had a bruise, and she lied about how she got it. You know, got hit in the face with a cupboard or something like that. And this is Hannah. And then this is Eve pretending to be Hannah. And if you search for blood, this left one is like five, ten minutes, about ten minutes after she mentioned the bruise, and she's and they want her to do a blood test. They want actual Hannah to do a blood test. And this one. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Blood. 
Okay, no, she's actually not mentioning a blood test there. Did she mention a blood test? Walked in, saw Simon. Throat had been cut, lots of blood. Uh, what, what if instead of searching for blood, I search for test? Oh. So this has got to be the mention of the lie detector test. I've never taken a lie detector test before. Does it really work? No, it, it really doesn't, actually. Yes. I'll take a lie detector test. They must have given her a blood test too, right? What about fingerprints? Hmm. Actually, wait a minute. Wait. Twins. Identical twins. Do identical twins have identical fingerprints and identical blood? Are they literally identical in every... Hmm. I mean, shit. I don't actually know. Identical twins. Like, I'm assuming they would be the same. To start with. Hmm. So identical twins have, they literally have identical DNA, right? Right? So, the DNA would be the same, I don't, I guess the fingerprints would be the same. But the thing is, even though the, you know, they might be genetically the same, but that doesn't mean that their bodies are the same. Because of environmental factors. And because of just you know, they lived in different places, so they had different environments. Eve had a tattoo, Hannah didn't. Hannah had already been pregnant and had a miscarriage. Eve was only just pregnant. Um, they've obviously had different diets, I'm sure. I'm sure they've eaten different food, so there's environmental factors. They've, you know, they've had different amounts of exercise. Eve sings, Hannah doesn't, so, you know, I'm sure her, her throat is, is different and stuff like that. So, I mean, obviously they're going to be different from environmental stuff. But the DNA is the same, right? And identical twins? How much value would a blood test have for identical twins? I have no freaking clue, honestly. I have no idea. Okay. So there's bruise and wig. And test. And there's lots of mentions of getting hit, right? Um, Eve said that Hannah said that Simon hit Hannah, which is one of the reasons she supposedly accidentally killed Simon with the Shard of Mirror because he hit her and he was trying to scare her away or she was trying to scare him away, rather supposedly it was the only five entries with hit okay uh, what about any more mentions of the Shard of Glass no uh, what about nine I know somebody mentioned nine o'clock at some point it was you this was yeah, it was about nine. And that's when they had their argument, around nine. This clip is from like six or seven days before this one. I didn't. I slept in the car. I left about nine that night. I wasn't there. Slept. Any more mentions of that? Well, that exhausts my list of keywords. How much do we have left in the database? A fair amount. Hmm. There, I successfully drummed on my chair. That doesn't actually help me find any new keywords, though. Um, hmm. I really don't know what to search for. Oh, hey, here's a new one. Well, there you go. How many kids? Ah, 
I've got to do some thinking. I literally don't even know what to search for at this point. Yeah, I'm going to do some thinking. Alright, I just read a bunch of keywords and I found four that have some new clips. First one is police. When will the police let me back in the house? They let me take a bag of clothes with me, but... And house. Have I ever searched for house? <laughs> Looks like I have. Alright, the next one I found was arrest, which I think had a bunch of them. Yeah, it's got three new ones. Including two from this. This this interview here is, I think, the most important one. Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something. Ran out of something, had to grab something. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. This is a nicer room. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. <laughs> Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Aha! See... <laughs> That's something I was wondering, right? As to whether Eve actually exists. You know? Like, but practically speaking, in terms of bureaucracy and documentation, does she actually exist? Because she was taken from her actual mother, and her mother thought that she was dead, which means she never got a proper birth certificate, right? At least not when she was young. Uh, I mean, <laughs> if something like that happens, I don't know if you can... ...ask the government for proper documentation? I mean, they'd have to do something. And at some point, you'd need documentation of some sort. I would think. I mean, at some point, you'd have to, you know, give your social security number or a driver's license or something, and, like, I'm pretty sure you'd need that stuff, really. At some point. So, it sounds like she maybe doesn't have that kind of documentation. It's interesting, too. Like, I wonder what the government would do. If you don't have that sort of stuff, if you were never given that sort of stuff, it's not like... It's not like you're breaking the law, right? It wasn't your choice. You didn't decide to not get a birth certificate. Like, I wonder what they'd do. Weird. Did I already search for a room? Apparently. Um... Exist. Nope, nothing new. Alright, got two more keywords that I know have new clips. Miscarriage is one. Then my parents died. It was the worst year of my life. The miscarriage and then my parents. Probably already searched for parents, but let me do it again. Here's a new one. It's a pretty long one, too. After the kiss, the next time, he took me back to the house. To our parents' house. To their house. So, it was definitely him. <laughs> I sometimes think he wanted to get caught to prove to himself that we were different people. He told me about his marriage, told me how his wife was completely different to me. <laughs> I almost burst out laughing. Yeah, so Simon definitely did cheat on Hannah and was having a kid with Eve. I mean, we already knew that, but... <laughs> Any more mentions of a kiss? Oh, here we go. Yes. I thought about telling Hannah. I felt guilty after the kiss. 
but then it began to feel like this was the way it should be. Sharing, like we had before. He never mentioned her to me. There was the Simon with me and the Simon with her. It was almost like it was a different Simon. But... But... The way she trails off at the end... It might just be that she was thinking, but it almost seems like somebody came into the room or something, doesn't it? The way she stares off to the side. It's almost like she's looking at someone or something. She might just be thinking, though. It might just be awkwardly edited. Alright, she mentioned feeling guilty. Okay. Um, she's being chased. Um, they're trying to catch her because... She did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. Or maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Did they catch her though? I don't know. Mistaken identity. She's not just mentioning that out of the blue. That's important. Identity is obviously a massive part of this. Okay, body was the other keyword that I've already searched for that I know has a new clip. Yeah, right here. Can you imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. I slept with so many boys. Man, my body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. I was pretty ill. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. We had become different. So Eve really wanted their their paths through life to converge again, for them to be the same, for them to continue to be mirror images. She didn't like that they were becoming different. That Hannah was pregnant and Eve wasn't. Alright, I got a bunch of keywords here, potential ones. That's it for kiss. Uh, what about share? She mentioned sharing Simon. What about the other share? No, not that share. Hmm. <laughs> I'm crossing a lot of keywords off my list. Yep. That's our only mention of mistaken identity. Mistake. Mistake in. Mistook. Gunnin. That's not a word. Um. Hmm. All right, I'm out of keywords again. Uh, what about now? I've seen a lot of new clips. I've seen most of them. I've got like eighty percent, maybe. Let me do some more thinking. Okay, just did some some more basically random keyword searching and I found a, a bunch of little clips. So the first one that I'm really surprised I haven't searched for is twin. Twins? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question?
That music and the fact that the face flashed right there makes me think. Am I one of the twins? Am I Hannah or Eve looking at what happened to my twin? Something like 20 years in the future. Like 21 years in the future. Because before I was thinking maybe I was the kid, right? Maybe I was like the 20, 21 year old kid that was growing inside of Eve doing this research into my mother or my mother's uh, twin sister. But maybe I'm one of the twins, right? Because they probably didn't arrest both of them, right? Hmm. Twins, really? Are you really asking me that question? So, she's lying about the fact that they're twins, right? Are you out of your mind? Twins? She's lying. But that was only one day before this. One day. Just one day. Did she really never mention Eve? Before? The second? This date? My friend, Eve. So this is from before, a couple days. But she says Eve was a friend. We'd fight, yeah. So just still saying friends. Blamed everything on my friend, Eve. Oh, this is the knock code. What are you doing talking about Eve? Well, this is from after, and that's, that is Eve. Huh. So she really didn't want them to know about Eve. What about when she talked about the baby? Did she ever mention the baby growing inside of Eve? The pregnant? Yeah, pregnant. I wanted to make sure I spelled it right. Um, hmm. And that's from before, too. Did she ever tell them about Eve? Or did only Eve tell them about Eve? What's the last interview done with Hannah? Because this has got to be the last interview done with Eve. Can I leave? Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. I think that might have been the last time Hannah was interviewed. Huh. Alright, there's a clip here as well. I mean, what if they were crazy? You hear about these crazy people all the time. I mean, why would anyone who knew Simon want to kill him? Are you arresting me? No. Fuck off. Open this door. The door was locked. Hmm. Does that mean they actually were going to arrest her? Alright, she said fuck off. I've never actually searched for fuck. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the one where she, uh, that's gotta be right after she spilled the coffee on herself, right? So she's probably just cursing to herself. No, I'm okay. Fuck. Any mention of a spill? No. 
What about... Well, she spilled coffee on herself, right? Maybe she was burned? Burn? Burned? Hmm. Mum and Dad never knew what was going on. We got so good at it. We were so in sync that we'd use each other to cheat. If one of us had a hangover, the other one would go to school. Whoever was best at a subject would sit the exam. There are lots of differences between us. Some things one is better than the other at. She almost seemed sad when she said that. There were lots of differences between us. Some things one is better than the other at. There were lots of differences between us. Look at her face. Some things one is better than the other at. Yeah, she seems sad. Which makes sense, because that's Eve, and Eve really seemed to want their bodies to be in sync, right? For them to be the same, for them to be mirror images. So it seems like she's sad about any differences. Wait a minute, there's a keyword I wanted to search for in there. What was it? Wait, that's not the right one. Sink. Sink. I want to search for sink. Hmm. Alright, this is the last clip that I was able to find when I was randomly searching for keywords. Good. Happy. I mean, ups and downs like any couple, I guess, but we've been married for over ten years. Childhood sweethearts. Something like that. Are you married, detective? I wonder if there's any more mentions of the bruise. I already searched for bruise and found these two clips, which are very, very important. The ones that show that basically Eve is pretending to be Hannah at this point. But let's see, are there any mentions of like face? No, bruise, face, cheek, eye. I think I already tried searching for cut. Yeah. Any mentions of coat? That's not how you spell jacket. Hmm. Alright, what am I looking at in the database now? God, I've really seen almost everything. I think I'm at about 90%. Hmm. 85 to 90%, but there's still... There's still a significant chunk of stuff. What am I missing? I wonder if I'm missing really, really short clips. Because the shorter the clip, the less keywords are in it, which means the harder it is to find. Alright, I'm going to do some more keyword searching. Okay, I started searching for family connections and stuff like that, like mom, mother, father, sister. And I found a couple that actually have some really good clips, especially sister. Which seems to have two clips from the very, very important interview. Probably the most important one. She sent him out the house, kicked him out, called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. She sent him out. Wait, sent him out of the house? Kicked him out? Hmm? When did that happen? I don't remember ever hearing a mention of kicking Simon out of the house. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. What? My sister is gone. 
and she's never coming back. What? What do you mean? Did she run away? Did she kill herself? That was. That was about five minutes after this one. She sent him out the house. My sister's gone. Never coming back. Gone. No, it's okay. The other detective has just gone to get me money. My sister's gone. Suicide? Suicide? No. I mean, he would never do anything like that. He is not the kind of person to do anything like that. I mean, to hurt himself? No. What did she mean that her sister's gone? She's never coming back. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. <laughs> what does she mean by that? So the last, the last interview that I can be pretty sure was was Hannah, uh, was the one where she said like, "Are you gonna arrest me? Like this is bullshit." And then she got up and, you know, she said the door, like is the door locked. Whoa, door. I didn't think searching for door would find me two new clips. All right, hold on. Door. I'll search for that in a second. But to fi uh, follow up on my thought, I could think the last interview with Hannah was this one. Are you arresting me? No. Fuck off. Open this door. I mean, assuming that wasn't Eve pretending to be Hannah. So after that, did she just run away? Did she kill herself? She's gone and she's never coming back. Alright, let's search for a door now. Yeah, I had to let myself in. The door locks if it swings too. Um, I sleep on the right side of the bed as you come in from the door. You can tell because I have two pillows and he just has one. Pillow. Any more mentions of a pillow? Nope. Whoa. Here's something. You must be desperate for leads if you're getting hung up over six month old speeding tickets. They found old speeding tickets for Eve? Well, I remember the ticket, of course. I paid it without telling Simon. Didn't want to get told off. And they put points on the license. Well, I don't know. I probably had to pop out and get something. That's why I was speeding. And that wouldn't have been noted on my timesheet. But I really can't remember back to February. All right, now the other family connection I was searching for was brother, which came up with one result. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. But it's okay, because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Yeah, maybe Eve and Hannah aren't the only twins. Maybe Simon had a twin brother, too. <gasps> oh my god. That would be incredibly dumb. How many mentions of Simon are there? 61. Hmm. Okay, well that's it for all the keywords I have. Um, wow, I tested a lot of keywords. Seriously, I'm looking at my list of keywords here, and it goes down all the way to the bottom of my paper. There's like 
maybe 25 to 50 written down here. That's a lot of keywords. Yeah, so I've just found bits and pieces. Um, I found most of it. There's little bits and pieces missing, and it looks like I'm missing one big chunk here. And I'm assuming if you're miss like I'm assuming if you're missing back-to-back -back pieces, that means that's like a specific storyline, like a specific interview that you're missing, or or part of an interview. So I'm missing something big here. I want to know what the heck that is. So I found lots of bits and pieces, but I think the only thing really kind of surprising that I found, if I could spell it correctly, is this. This is the big piece of information. Bruce. Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen, and the chair slipped, and I kind of hit the door with my face. So that's Hannah lying about getting hit in her face by a cupboard or something like that. Even though in reality, it seems like she got hit by Eve during an argument. So this is definitely Hannah because she doesn't have the tattoo. And the bruise is on the left cheek. She puts her hand to the left side of her face. Left cheek. And then two days later, this interview. The bruise. She puts her hand to the wrong side. I have a really fast metabolism, so... And makes the excuse that it just healed really fastly and that's why it's gone now. But obviously, if she's if she got the side wrong and her bruise just magically healed, then this isn't actually Hannah. This is Eve, pretending to be Hannah. Please. So that's the big piece of information. She was pretending to be Hannah. Why? That's the big question. Why was she pretending to be Hannah? In how many interviews did she pretend to be Hannah? Something I want to know is maybe, like, if Hannah just disappeared, what if... Like, I'm just thinking... If they were swapping in and out, right? Well, okay, there's two possible things I could think of going on here. Either um, either Hannah, uh, Eve was pretending to be Hannah to avoid responsibility or something like that without actually Hannah knowing, right? Like, maybe Eve was pretending to be Hannah without Hannah actually knowing. Or maybe they were doing the old thing that they used to do where they would swap in and out. I don't know why they would do that here, but... It's one of the two. And what I want to know is maybe Hannah was killed. Or maybe she already ran away. Right? Like, maybe... Hmm. Maybe she ran away in every interview from the 27th, which is when she mentions this. And all the interviews in the future are all... Eve. Does she ever have a short sleeve on? At any point on the 27th or later? Because that's the only way to really be sure that it's Eve is the shirt. Hmm. Well, it shouldn't be hard to get a good sampling of all the different things that they're wearing. I mean, long sleeve, long sleeve, short sleeve. Yeah, actually, that's on the 30th. Yeah, so this one is actually three days after this one. And she's wearing a uh, short-sleeve shirt. Good. Which is short enough that I think you would see the tattoo poking out if she had it. Good. Happy. I mean, I'll So I think they were swapping in and out. So not necessarily... I don't think it was necessarily Eve doing a malicious thing to Hannah without her knowledge. I think they were swapping in and out just like they used to. Hmm. And then this was even later, and this is definitely Eve. I'm just looking at the clothing for anybody who has short sleeve. So she had short, sle short sleeves when she had the blue shirt on with the whole guitar. Um, and here. Uh, 
I think that's it. I think it's just those... Oh no, and here. So there's three different outfits where she has short sleeves on. So three different times when she's definitely Hannah. Other than that, who knows? Hmm. And look, I still haven't touched this part here. I'm still missing a big chunk of something. It's getting harder and harder to find information. Yeah. Well, it's kind of unsatisfying, but uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and in the next episode, I might just crack open a dictionary and start putting in random words. We'll see what I have to do to find new clips.